for Monday, um, reopening of schools has is, is been a hard thing for us to really consider. DCPS has made a decision for schools to only be in person. It doesn't really take into account the different types of families that live in DC. We are a multi-generational community. We're a multicultural community, you know, primarily that of black and brown families. Um, so exactly who this pandemic has hit the hardest. Not allowing for a virtual option, really not recognizing that that is a need for many families has been uh, very disappointing and disheartening. My daughter won't be going into a school building, but she will continue to do work and learn from home. My grandchildren, they have neurodiversities and exceptionalities. Um, they both have social and emotional learning disorders. So, what's your homeroom teacher's name? Aiden is 11, and Aiden attends McFarland Middle School, which is a part of the DC public school system, and this is his first year in middle school. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The resources there are exactly what he needs. Adelaide. In May of 2020, I contracted COVID despite having been in quarantine since March, but I ended up in the hospital for nine days. But I've had complications with my long COVID since, um, problems with my liver, problems with my kidneys. But it's been very hard and very hard to raise a family when your health is um, so unstable. Exposing them is a risk that we just cannot take at this time. So that's why we're choosing to keep her home. Virtual school for Aiden was sheer torture. He didn't want to come on camera. He didn't want to see anyone. He didn't want to come out of his room. He didn't want to have family time, whether it's dinners or just a conversation. He went inward. That weighs heavily on me. I want him to have the best educational opportunities possible. And because I have diabetes, that's a concern, you know, that I have every day. Being immunocompromised makes me very anxious about contracting COVID-19. It's, it's come down to a point for me where I have to decide whether I put my children first or I put myself first.